Hi, it's Brennan and Mike. Hi, everybody. And we are in the car again on our way to a Christmas get-together with friends. And we just thought we'd shoot a quick video to say hello and talk a little bit about some of the things that Mike and I were talking about today. Do you want to say anything, Mike? Yeah, before we uh, go into that little conversation, I just want to uh, wish everybody an amazing time this holiday season. Have an amazing time with your friends and family. And uh, for New Year's resolutions, I wouldn't wait till the 1st to make a resolution. Uh, do like I have, start making a resolution now, put them into place, so that way you start off 2014 with an amazing start. So, mm -hmm. so what we're talking about is I'm um, reading a book by Napoleon Hill and most people know his classic book, Thinking for Rich. But he also wrote a book that's not as well known and wasn't published until 2011 um, called Outwitting the Devil. And he goes into detail about what makes a man or woman successful. And he's trying to get, uh, kind of bring out, out of the devil through an interview how, what tools the devil uses to make men fail and um, what distinguishes someone who's successful from someone who isn't. And the reason, it was written in 1938 and wasn't published until 2011 because his wife had an issue with the subject and so she, she thought it was too controversial for um, to uh, publish so the family of Napoleon Hill didn't publish it until 2011 after her death. But what we were talking about that was kind of interesting is that Napoleon Hill has seven principles of success. And one of them is to um, how you handle adversity. And he says that for any great man or woman, the amount of defeat equals the amount of success. So if you're going to play big and go for huge successes, then you probably in your past have taken enough risks and made enough mistakes that it equals the amount of, of defeat that you've had to overcome. So um, he says that any failure, if you can look for the seed of opportunity in it, and just keep going, then um, that's one of the keys of a, su a successful man. And so we were talking earlier about some of the people that came to mind, and um, one for me, and one of my um, favorites would be Abraham Lincoln, just because I'm a huge Civil War buff, and um, he actually was defeated in public office several times before he became president. Had a lot of um, things happen in his life that might have made some men give up, but he continued to strive toward success, and he's become one of the icons of history. Another one that's pretty commonly referred to is Edison, and how many times he failed at inventing the light bulb. Do you have any, Mike? Any favorites? Yeah, I do. I have uh, two that come to mind. The first one is Michael Jordan. Um, how many failures and shots and how, how hard he strived before he became the huge success that he was on the basketball court. And Donald Trump, how he fought off bankruptcy in, in that meeting he had with all the bankers at the time to help negotiate to get himself out of bankruptcy. And now you see how successful he is. He's even got his own TV show. So, exactly. Just, you have to have the amount of failure equal the amount of success you have because you take the risks. You, know, you have to take the risks in order to be successful. So I was just telling Mike I think he has a man crush on Donald Trump. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> so that's pretty much our thoughts for tonight and we wanted to just take the opportunity again to wish you happy holidays and take the time to enjoy the season, um, look around and really appreciate the beauty of nature this time of year, and take a moment
moment to just appreciate all the beautiful decorations and the holiday season. <laughs> and uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Happy